In this series on depression, we are looking at ways in which we as individuals can lessen the impact of serious depression or avoid it altogether. This video will examine the role of sleep. Poor sleep has a strong effect on mood, in part because the neurotransmitters needed to support mood are replenished with sleep. Thus, we need restorative sleep to maintain a balanced brain and help alleviate depression and anxiety. Other research shows that chronic sleep deprivation can trigger a form of depression. Research and clinical experience show that insomnia is associated with reduced quality of life as well as depression. In turn, depression can lead to sleep problems. Insomnia can also lead to feelings of anxiety, frustration, hopelessness, exhaustion, and an inability to concentrate. Numerous health professionals realize that while sleep medications may be essential for the person who is seriously sleep deprived, it is critical to try and help the individual achieve meaningful sleep without pharmaceuticals if possible. Serious addiction and other unpleasant side effects can result for such dependence on such chemicals as sleep aids. Developing stable sleeping habits can counter a cycle of poor sleep which can be a trigger for depression. Brain health is more dependent upon sleep than most people realize. It is during sleep that the brain cleans itself of waste products and creates new connections. A lack of this form of total rest can lead to issues such as drowsiness, problems with memory and concentration, impaired judgment, all of which can aggravate depression. In addition, a sleep-deprived body is more at risk of diabetes, excessive weight gain, high blood pressure, cardiovascular disease, and even poor balance. Sleep needs to be a priority for mental and physical health. Harvard Medical School's Harvard Health Publishing website reports in an article entitled Sleep and Mental Health that people who experience anxiety and depression should consider that sleep deprivation may be one of the contributors to their affliction. The article goes as far as saying that treating sleep disorders can provide significant help in alleviating the mental health disorder. These and other sources give effective advice as to how to better prepare the mind and body for sleep. If one is struggling in this area, there are some things one can do. Avoid alcohol and nicotine prior to sleeping. Alcohol can initially depress the nervous system, but it will quickly be oxidized in the body and the person will wake up. Nicotine is a stimulant and does not induce sleep. Maintain a regular sleep and awake schedule. Try not to nap during the day and use the bedroom only in the evening when it's time to retire. Keep the bedroom dark and free from any distractions such as a computer or television. Develop a bedtime routine that includes a distraction-free period. This means turning off all electronics after 9 p.m. Reading for half an hour prior to bed can also relax the mind. Practice relaxation techniques, breathing exercises, or progressive muscle relaxation. These can reduce anxiety, slow the mind, countering racing thoughts. Soothing bedtime snacks, a glass of milk, or a light snack of complex carbohydrates can help with relaxation. Such aids can increase the probability of sleep that refreshes, and hence can reduce anxiety and depression. Further to this, many researchers recommend spending time in bright sunshine in the daytime, especially in the morning, whether it's going for a run, a relaxing walk, or even sitting on a balcony or on the front steps. Light is a help in fighting depression, and being in the light while one exercises during the day can play a significant role in calming the mind, which leads to better sleep. If you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe. And for more content like this, please visit our website at tomorrowsworldviewpoint.org.